but I'll call the Budget and Finance Committee to order. Um, Madam Clerk, would you call the roll? Sure. Mr. Collins? Here. Attorney Murphy? Here. And Ms. Naylor? Here. The first item on the agenda is a vote to recommend to the full school committee that it approve expenditure of $5,690,000 $475 from the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education for FY21 Kenora, Kenora Virus Relief Fund School Reopening Grant. So does that mean we don't get it if we don't reopen? <laughs> we reopened. <laughs> so the we reopening grant actually store. covered all reopening expenses, including right. part as well. So we've had various expenses. We've kind of used this like a little bit of a catch-all because most of these expenses are completely unplanned. And IT has had, as you can imagine, stuff come up that, you know, we had things come up that were completely unforeseen. So that's what our plan is to use the funds for. Okay, so it's not, it's not contingent upon this latest threat to reopen schools. No, no. Nope. No, nope. it's been very, it's been a very helpful pot of money. It's been just kind of a catch all for everything that has come up that is not in the budget. Excellent. Are there questions? No, sir. Hearing none, is there a motion to recommend to the full com school committee? So moved. Second. All those in favor, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Sure. Mr. Collins? Yes. Attorney Murphy? Yes. Ms. Naylor? Yes. Okay, passing. So the second item is, is an item I put on to discuss legal costs. Um, while we pay for most of, a lot of our legal fees through the Bulkley Richardson arrangement, um, and that this year is about, the, about where it ought to be, um, we are experiencing an increase in legal costs both in the special ed area and this year for COVID costs. Um, and it doesn't, at least in my opinion, it, it doesn't appear the, the litigation stuff is gonna go away anytime soon. And so when you take a look at some rough numbers and I'll have Pat uh, give us some rough numbers in a minute. If you add those other legal costs like for COVID-19 and for the litigation for special ed, um, they're significant amounts, and it's probably almost half again of what we're paying Bulkley Richardson. A lot of the companies recently around here, the big corporations, Smith & Wesson, Bay State Medical, and a few others, where they did all of their legal work the way we are currently doing it under retainer arrangement, have switched to bringing in-house counsel. And I think it's probably time we take a, at least hear what those expenses are and then have Pat um, go back and, and see what would it cost us to follow a similar path if we created a council, off, uh, a council division within our own school department that would answer to both the school committee and the superintendent. Um, so Pat, what, I mean, I, I was shocked at the cost, but go ahead, let the other people know. So we've, we've been with Bulkley Richardson for 10 years, and I actually think that they've had their rates frozen for all 10 years. So um, at least six of them anyway, at least six. So it's been a while since they, you know, it's been at least six years, I would say then that they definitely haven't increased their rates. But that being said, our usage of them has continued to grow. Um, over the years, there's, we've increased the amount of work that used to go to the law department that now goes to Bulkley Richardson and the amount of work that used to go to labor relations that now goes to Bulkley Richardson. There were some cases that we were losing and we were kind of getting frustrated with losing. And so we, we chose to kind of bring some of those and have them do it. And, um, and then this past year and a half, we've gotten rid of our SPED vendor, our SPED attorney, and we've been using them for all of our SPED work as well. So after talking with Mr. Collins, I went back and looked and we've gone up I mean, it's, we're at $566,000 with them this year. So it's a pretty significant contract amount. So I think we get a really good value for those services. But um, I do think if we were able to bring something like that in house and, and hire an attorney or, or some staff in house, we could have a significant savings. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
And Pat, how much is beyond our old relationship where we where we have it, the retainer in order to do the more routine work? What like the SPED and the and the COVID? How much do you have an OMOP? Know how much money of, of it was in that area? I mean, their regular contracts about two hundred and twenty thousand. So everything, you know, between so uh, double. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're easily spending double, and it's like we've taken on more and more work between law and labor, um, which were really the big amounts. And then this past year or so, it's been sped. So I'm, I'm, you know, you guys, you guys join in, but I, I think it might be time for Pat to take a look around and, and what would it cost to have uh, a department within the school department that would be our own that we wouldn't have to worry about because there'd be an employee and we wouldn't be vending everything out. And I'm sure it would take more than just a lawyer. I mean, most law offices would need like a paralegal and some uh, research tools and stuff like that. But look at the a whole myriad of costs uh, to see what would it cost us to do that? Would it be worth us discussing this and then maybe recommending to the committee that we create a new position within the department? Um, but we don't wanna make that decision without looking at what we think potential costs might be and if there are potential savings. Latonia, are you in the car because you don't have Wi-Fi at the new house yet or just because you're no, in the <laughs> you missed it. I'm furniture shopping, so I'm taking a break oh. from my furniture <laughs> shopping to jump on this call. So <laughs> my mom oh. is in the store still. I'm sitting in the car on I'm with you all. So <laughs> okay. for a good reason I'm here. My Wi-Fi was on before I even moved. Now that's multitasking. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm you sure. You know we husband... had to have that Wi-Fi ready because the kids have to go to school. Oh that's yeah. right. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Was that as easy as they just as as they say it is? Because you're both your two houses were within Springfield. Was it really yeah. just a phone call to switch it from one it address to another? It was very easy. Literally, I ad actually did it automated at first, but because I had the security system, they had me call. But it was so simple. They had me set up the end date and the date it would start. Um, and it worked out. Sorry, I hope you can still hear me. My son was calling. Nope, me. Yeah, we can um, hear you're back too. Yep. But yeah, so it was it was literally me giving them an end date and a start date, and it was the same days. He doesn't he doesn't get the clue that ignoring means <laughs> can't talk. Um, and they set everything up so literally when the other ones turned off, they had somebody in that morning on that Saturday morning to hook everything up. No breach. It was great. Great. All right. So what do you guys think? Do you think we should start taking a look at what it would cost us to have an an in-house attorney rather than doing everything, parceling it out? Well, Chris, if, if I may ask a question about this and maybe even a comment, I think there's an opportunity cost that we should look at as well in addition to the financial cost, because there's something to be said about somebody being internal and really understanding the way that we work and the challenges that we face. And I think although we have had tremendous um, you know, support and um, through Buffy Richardson, I also feel like there's this level of understanding that just comes from being inside it day to day. And that there may be things that somebody as an employee may identify or understand that they wouldn't understand because they don't work there. Um, so I would dare say, yes, we should look at, you know, what the cost would be for an employee, the benefits, all that stuff, how many folks we would need in the department, all of that. But I also would would be who was to look at what those opportunity costs might be as well. Yeah, and access for our departments too. You know, if if you have an employee who's there in the building, I think there's some value to that as well. I you know I think that also. Pete, what do you think? Do you think we it's worth taking a, a yeah. look at? The... Yeah, thank you, Chris. Uh, I, I would agree with Latonia. It, it definitely, uh, we should take a look at it. Uh, if we can save money and have the same level of representation uh, that we have now is certainly something that we should look at. Uh, obviously the special ed costs are something that's, uh, that we've struggled with over the years. And, uh, you know, I, I would certainly support uh, taking a look at it. And uh, as you've said, an organization of our size, uh, you know, $460 million annual budget, uh, 
we, you know, we would normally have an in-house attorney and, uh, you know, if the superintendent, uh, feels like it's something that, you know, he, he needs, uh, you know, an attorney sort of more available as you guys have suggested, um, you know, that's something we should, we should take a look at. So. So Pat, do you have an idea what I'm talking about and looking at, yeah. you know, you know, costs for, for a couple of employees, I would think you'd need a couple, right? Probably a paralegal and a lawyer. A lawyer, um, a paralegal, some office supplies, what, you know, Westlaw, probably some, some, I'll, I'll think about whatever it says. We usually have some generic expenses in each one of our departments, right above and beyond just the employee salary. So I'll look around and, and kind of calculate what I think and I'll bring it, you know, and we can discuss it. Yeah, well, at least we, we'd be we'd be having a discussion with some knowledge in front of us, some numbers. Were you trying to talk, Latonia? Yes, I was going to ask a question too, and this probably is more directed to superintendent, is how many, you know, how many times is it that we think about wanting legal advice but don't want to be charged <laughs> and would, would really appreciate having had that advice and, and suggestions. So I think when we look at the cost, we're probably looking at the things we absolutely needed to reach out to legal for. But if we had an employee, then we would probably reach out to them a little bit more just to make sure that you know, we're having that co confirmation, I guess, in a way of speaking of um, what, what it is that we want to do when having that second year. You, you know, you're so right. Uh, the, the needs legally have gone, have increased every year. And I'm constantly trying to control the costs of where we go out, balancing against the need. Um, present group have been absolutely fabulous. It's just trying to keep the, the costs in line. It, their service has been outstanding but it's been a real battle. And I see the needs continuing to increase. I don't see it going the other way. Special education is becoming more and more litigious, but so education in general. So every, every, uh, every district in the state is facing this. So there is an increase in need. And I think having someone in house would help us fulfill that need. So I completely agree that it's time to look at that. The needs have been great. Present council has done an absolutely fabulous job, but the needs are significant. And I'm constantly trying to make a decision. Do I get what we need here or I try to keep the cost down? And it's a, it's a battle. So I, I absolutely feel we need the full in-house council. Well, Pat, it seems yes. like the three of us really agree that we'd like you to go take a look at those costs. And we'll, when you can get something together, we'll schedule another meeting for us to have a more in-depth discussion about it. And then if we think it's appropriate, we'll, uh, then you'd have to look at organizing it like a reorganization in order to create new positions, you know? Yep, okay. Absolutely, I'll go back and do that work and bring it back to the committee. Is everybody all set? Yes, thank you. All set, so thank good, you. Good luck with your furniture luck, shopping. Latonia. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, is there a motion to adjourn? I move. Second. Uh, would you call the Madam Clerk? Would you call the roll? Sure. Mr. Collins? Yes. Attorney Murphy? Yes. Ms. Naylor? Yes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys. Good seeing you, guys. Don't bust the budget. Take care. <laughs>